Hi, this is Bethany Gagné, founder of the Albany Peace Project, and today I'm here with Tim Moon, who was with us last year. Um, as many of you may remember, right, Tim, you've been working in the mental health field for 35 years now. Mental health and recovery and human services, yep. yeah, a variety, pretty eclectic for 35 years. Absolutely. Yep. And Tim, you now, you're going to be one of the team leaders for Numinous coming up this year. Essentially, that means you're going to be teaching for Numinous somewhat, somewhat regularly. Mm -hmm. And um, the title you of talk, your talk... You talked me into that, right? <laughs> wasn't broad, it was just, you know, it's something right, I want right, to do. Right. right. So, well, it's because... It's an opportunity because I know the amazing wisdom, right. right? And I know the amazing wisdom because you share a lot of what's going on because you're always on a, a leading cutting edge within yourself. And so you're always working this program and I see your spirit and I see your energy and I see your sense of humor and um, you know I just think you have a lot to share which is why I'm always asking you to step up. Thanks. You may recognize Tim, he's also been the MC for our events so he's, he's kind of always around. Um, so Tim, you the, the, bad <laughs> <laughs> so you were mentioning about um, your talk that you're going to be doing at Numinous on February 16th was mm -hmm. this idea of going from whole to whole. Can you can you elaborate? Yeah, I had this um, working with uh, people in recovery the last couple of years um, in a variety of different 12-step um, environments. I've had I've been aware of and had this kind of um, perception of a, a continuum, you know, that we're all on this continuum and the continuum is between wholeness and wholeness. Wholeness at one end being wholeness within H, um, which is our, our sense of emptiness. Uh, we hear it all the time, we hear it in, you know, people who are suffering with depression, with anxiety, and just people on a day-to-day -day basis who are not satisfied with the, the conditions in their life, want things to be different, suffering in any way about things not being conditionally the way they want them to be. That's the whole you know, with the H, the hole that we fall into, the hole that we have inside of us that needs to be filled with substances, with relationships, with, um, with alcohol, with food, yeah, material things. with material things, um, you, know, um, you know, trying to do that is just putting band-aids on and it doesn't, it's not, we're not filling up, that, that's a bottomless pit. Right, hole. right. At the other end of the spectrum is wholeness with a W. And you know, the focus of this talk is going to be, you know, what are the tools, what are the, the paradigm shifts, what are the, the things that we need to address in our own thinking and perceptions that bring us to this perception. That hole is, that hole is full. Right, it's it's right. only empty because we think it is. Yeah, you know? right. And how do we use meditation and other spiritual tools, understandings of our perception and how we use our perception to shape the world around us to, um, you know, to challenge our ideas of emptiness and to recognize that, that we are whole yeah. that we, and we yeah. can be whole and we can experience wholeness with a W. Um, right. And without actually necessarily changing conditions. Yeah, that much. no, it's so true. Right. It's so true. That wholeness has its kind of own signature. You know, it's a sense of well-being, a sense of wholeness, and I'll never forget years, you know, years ago when I got into this work, it was, oh, great, you know, well-being, you know, sounds great. What is it? You right. know, right. and the idea that it's a palpable state, this wholeness state mm -hmm. that you're going to be talking about, mm -hmm. and what, what the the kind of what's that feel like, and the fact that we have this option to not choose the eight hole with an H, right? right. Exactly. That's the PowerPoint right exactly. there, right? Talk exactly. more about that PowerPoint. Well, I mean, the idea. It, what you're you're making me think of right now is um, a couple of ancient, some more modern, St. Francis of Assisi, um, Mother Teresa, mm -hmm. the idea that service ultimately mm -hmm. is, jo is joy. Yeah. You know? And there's, yeah. a, there's a path that we follow to get to service. Um, and service ultimately is joy. And that's the idea that when I am, when I'm getting out of my own self-centered need, Mm -hmm. And recognizing that I have something that I can give, right. you know, I don't have to um, learn to love myself before I can love others. What I need to do is love others to recognize. And as soon as I do that, mm. you know, as soon as I mm. right, as soon as I extend compassion and kindness right. and love to somebody else, I recognize that that is something I already possess. Right. And I don't need somebody else to do it for me, right. to validate me with theirs, right. to, you know, to provide it, to fill up the hole. Right. I need to extend right. you know, and, and find that 
And it, when I do it, I'm, I'm verifying for myself right. that those resources are always and, and, and already right. available to me. Right. I, can be, I can be severely challenged by circumstances. I can be severely challenged by past history and mm -hmm. trauma. But the, the answer in, in any program of recovery, any therapeutic um, modality that I've ever seen is ultimately, you know, finding, you know, the, the capacity to be helpful to others. Mm. It's the work that we're doing through yeah, our Army Peace yeah, Project. And yeah. it doesn't require that I have to have resources that get me out of the house to go, you know, give food. I can sit in my own chair and I can, I right. can be just be mindful of, of, I can, my energy can help somebody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. Just my positive attitude can help somebody else. And what I send out into the world can help somebody else. And I love the way you just, you know, brought love is a wonderful example, right? So if people feel like they're not feeling loved or they're not getting the love that they That's want. the whole. When, right, thank you. Exactly. Right? And then the idea that when you become love, then. That's the whole with a W. Right. And right. it's, and it's, and it's a matter of making a choice and taking a, take, make, doing a different action. Right, and service yeah. can so create that W right. with a whole. Right. And, and, and even in this situation, the Albany Peace Project, you're, you're doing a service, even though it may not feel so much like you're doing a great, you know, but my, you really just are. Just with my own desire right. to help. Right, you know, right. With intention. Even that I makes you feel whole, own. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So you talk a lot about the, a lot of these concepts at the men's group, right? Yes, we do. And the men's group has been meeting since what was it? We started that in April, maybe. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sometime last year. Yeah, been yeah. a while. Yeah, yeah, in the spring. Right? Yeah, and um, so we've started this men's group with a um, and spiritual it's run... discussions for men. Yes. I run at co. You know, it's it's it's. Uh, we are there together, and other men show up, and yeah, we kind of facilitate and allow you know discussion amongst men about their experiences and their experiences with with spiritual you know understanding that there are, that that there are options you know that we can have to to solving our problems in you know and you know finding peace right and being in the world. And still you know, be effective and still, and still you know, be, be out there and, yep. be, you know. And same. we're challenging our own paradigms mm -hmm. around masculinity. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's a beautiful thing. There have really been some amazing stories of shifting, you know, that people have brought into the room as a result of the discussions that we're having. Yeah. It's really great. So I encourage anyone to come on out the first, it's going to be the first Wednesday of the month at the Unity Church in Albany at 7 o'clock. Right. Bring anything on your mind and heart and, and the discussion, like you said, there just seems to be like an alchemy, this kind of magic that as it unfolds on, on to its own, right? Yep. Yeah. We're challenging, challenging ourselves. Yeah. And our ideas about, you know, what it means to be a man, what, you know, what is masculine and feminine and, right. you know, how do we, how do we deal with the world without falling into the traps that we've always fallen into and which create a lot of the conditions that we're that we're trying to address with right. the Peace Project too. Right, right. Yeah. So Tim runs that with another gentleman known as Glenn Hoke, who's gonna be one of the meditation leaders later on this month. Right. And um and it's a trip. Yeah, it's exactly. Trip. Right. It's entertaining. <laughs> and so right. between Tim and Glenn they run this fabulous group, so I hear I'm not allowed, but um <laughs> but, gonna go there. Spend that. <laughs> We let her in. You know, <laughs> Once. That's the masculine <laughs> energy that you yeah. know. Okay, yeah, you can you can manipulate us with pizza. <laughs> We're challenging all of that. <laughs> so, so, um, so, yeah, I always want to be a bug on the wall, right. but of course I'm not allowed. So I always ask them, how'd it go, how'd it go? And that's how I hear that, right. that the discussions really right. are Good. meaningful and Went powerful. <laughs> The secret code. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. So, um, all right. Well, thank you so much for participating. And Tim is going to be leading us in a meditation. And just anything else you got, Tim? Looking forward to the rest of the month. Yeah, absolutely. Um, be in peace. Yeah, be in peace. Be in peace. Like that. Right. Be in peace. All right. Have a great day. Thank you.